Today on Hear Them Out with Hannah Mears, featuring our game preview on Westmoreland Sports Network, I'm here with Brad Birch, freshman quarterback from Jeanette. Brad, how are you? Good, I'll let you. Can't complain at all. Love to see your smiling face today. And Brad, I talked to you a few weeks ago, and you weren't a Whitfield champion yet. But as a freshman quarterback, you are now a Whitfield champion. How good does it feel to hear that? Yeah, it feels good because I didn't – well, before the season, we was all talking about states, but it's good to just hit that uh, step and just feels good to win it, actually. And you also told me in the beginning of the season, you guys were always focused on championships. And whether or not this game played out the way that you wanted it to, Claritin is a team that gave you your first and only loss this season. And from the date of the Whippeal Championship game, it was about a month since you had played them and lost 34-28 the first time. You not only beat them in the Whippeal Championship game, you mercy rolled them. 45 to 14. How good did it feel to get revenge? Yeah, it felt good because uh, at the beginning of the year uh, or the season playing them, we didn't tackle good, very or very good. Uh, and then offense, we, we just need to clean up more. And we did. And you saw what happened in the game when both of our teams are at, our, at the best. And something that happened in the Claritin game, though, is you're injured now. And unfortunately, it is a season-ending injury. You told me left ankle and Mm -hmm. only six to eight weeks possibly. So basketball, hopefully still in the radar for you. And I'll be rooting for you there in that sport as well. But how have you been feeling since this injury? Pretty good. Uh, I'm just going through it best I can. But uh, it sucks not playing and everything. But our team still got in. Hopefully just still win states. Absolutely. And I'm just curious, you said you're going through it. How are you mentally handling this? Who's been there for you through all this? Uh, Just like my family and uh, everyone else on the team, just uh, checking in on me and everything. So I'm doing good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. But I'm curious, when did this injury happen on the field? What play did this happen? Do you remember anything vividly? Has this been something you've been playing through? Uh, it happened uh, in the third quarter when we came back out. Uh, and uh, I think it was to, when we were about to score in the red zone. And then uh, I ran the ball and some kids just came down my ankle. Yeah. Well, something that you had talked to me about is that you wanted to do everything you could. Um, you actually told me in exact quotes, I want to be a leader and take my team to states. You've gotten your team to that point. Regardless of the injury, you have been a huge factor as to why the Jeanette Jayhawks are now in the state playoffs. So do you feel that you've still accomplished just about everything that you could and that you set your mind on? Well, yeah, because I can't do nothing else, really. But uh, no, nah, but still, we, we still believe we're going to win states for sure. And we're going to get there, really. How confident are you in the fact that Roberto Smith Jr. or Jimmy Sanders may be taking snaps in the quarterback position this Friday? Yeah, uh, like I was watching them today during practice, and they're doing good. So I think we're just going to keep doing the same thing we've been doing. For you personally, I need to rewind a little bit and ask. Something you told me weeks ago was when you were in the Whippeal semifinals, you said that your biggest growing point personally was the Claritin game. You said you found out a lot about yourself, getting snaps off in time, throwing the ball quicker. What do you think is the biggest thing you learned about yourself as a player this season? Uh, I think I just got smarter, like uh, just as the season went, just, uh, just everything, like I just like, upgraded as a player like all around I love to hear that dangerous Mm. for teams next year for sure that you feel like you've already upgraded after a dominant freshman campaign but I also saw something really moving um you get to play football with your brother Brett 
and he's one of your receivers. You said he wasn't your favorite, but it is nice to have him as a target out there. You don't really have a favorite because all of your wideouts are definitely yeah. people that you could have counted on this season. But there's a picture I found on Twitter, and I'll show it to you just so you get a little bit of where I'm coming from. This is you and your brother, oh, yeah. and you're injured on the bench, and he's sitting beside you. What was being, what words are being exchanged in that moment between you and your brother? Just about, uh, like next, like uh, next week, or this week, uh, this game. But uh, we were just talking about it and seeing if I was gonna be okay. And I thought I was at first, but doesn't seem like I am. But uh, we were just talking about the game and how I was gonna get up and uh, cheer for everyone, uh, the team that won. <laughs> so. Though you weren't even focused anymore on this game, this has already been passed in your mind. You guys are already looking ahead and ready for the next game. So, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I was expecting yeah. to be like, you know, we're talking about how we're going to celebrate and all that yeah. stuff. But the Birch brothers were looking forward. And yeah. How good does it feel, though, to have your brother in your corner to know that through something really difficult, you had a family member sitting right there with you going through those emotions with you? Yeah, it, and it wasn't just him. It was the whole team. Just the whole team had my back and uh, seeing how I was doing. What would you say to your team going into this game? You know you can't be on the field, can't be leading them on the field, but before the game, if you had to give them a motivational speech, what would it be? That they already won the game. They already have the game won, so just do what they do all the time. I love that advice from you and the confidence that you always have in your team, despite the fact that you're a freshman, you are undoubtedly a leader on that field and a leader on the sidelines as well, judging by that comment. Mm -hmm. um, but something funny that happened right before this conversation is Brad entered this call with a funny background on Zoom. So I have to ask yeah. you, what can you explain what that background was and why? Uh, it was uh, our center, Ryan Kimmel, as a kid. Uh, it was just a funny picture of him with like a red mohawk, him and his dad matching mohawks. Are you the prankster on the team? Are you guys always pulling stuff on one no. another? Well, we, we kind of are. Like our whole team's like, we're like all friends. We all mess around with each other. So it was just, yeah, it's just something we all do. How do you feel about this season as a whole? What are, what are exactly is going through your mind as the season's wrapping up? Is it at all uh, how you expected to feel? Uh, not really. I well, I, th I didn't think I was gonna do like this good. I th like I'm happy with myself, but I definitely could have done better in all the games. I feel like, but we all have bad games and stuff. But overall, I think I did pretty good this season. What is one word or phrase that you would use to define the season that you had personally? Who were you as a player uh, on the field? Uh, I was myself, just like how I always play, nothing different. That's a really good answer. I've now finished a season under Coach Roy Hall. So how? what is your take on Coach Roy Hall and all of his strategies, his fun energy, and his football mindset? Yeah, he just, like, during practice, he's just always trying to help someone. And then, uh, like, he'll just help me with, like, the little things, just, like, carry, like, the ball out and stuff, like, out after fakes. So he just uh, reminds me of the little things mostly and which makes me better at the end of the day. And someone else that's helped, even mm -hmm. though they've had to be slim this season because of COVID-19, is Jayhawk Nation. The fans that show up for mm -hmm. you guys when they're able to every game if there's anything you could say to Jayhawk Nation right now after your freshman campaign, what would it be? Well, I wish there was more fans, definitely, because like growing up, going to the games, there's way more fans, but our fans are definitely the best uh, that I've seen for real.